Hey YouTube, this is B-Boy 1990 and I'm going to talk about my one of my favorite archetypes that a lot of people do not like. Yes, y'all know who I'm talking about. My fa One of my favorite decks, Dragoonities. See, what I really love about Dragoonities is that they have such a humongous speed advantage that it help, they basically help Dragon decks a lot with their biggest problem at speed. However, it has Wing Beast including to it, so it gives them some other plays. I'm not trying to say Dreams are the best decks. I know they're not the best deck. I know they have, their major weakness is they can be stopped a lot. Thunder King Royal, no searching. Chain Disappearance on Phalanx, no Synchro. Or you could Chain Disappearance, Ecclesi, which I know not a lot of people do, but if they do, I get no destruction. Okay. And then Failure for Legionnaire. Ducks, Levitane, and Mistletane. Then you have. Um, there's so many things you can stop them. I know that for sure. I've, I've got my, I got defeated sometimes. I mean, with Ant when I went against Antima. I beat him once, but I lost to them many times. I went against Gravekeepers. I beat them too. Because I learned to play my, play around with it. I play around with it a bit to find ways to find his weaknesses and try to not say I'm trying to say kind of better them against decks that would kill them like gravekeepers for example for example now anyways instead of okay but their major their biggest strengths their speed their mechanics no really their mechanics are, are amazing and oh, this is like my opinion I'm thinking they're like the best top deckers because once Ravine hits on the field Wherever you draw, it's basically a top deck, basically. Because you can just pitch that to get anything you want. That's what I like about Dragonities. Now, so now let's get to the cards. First off, I'm going to start with the one tuner everyone loves, Phalanx. Phalanx, a 500 attacker with 1100 defense. That's okay. That's I find that pretty decent. A high defense. So when they attack it, you get him in the great... He has 1100, so only a 1200 or higher would get rid of it. That's pretty much it. Like, if Torgai was going to attack in face on defense, it's not going to get anything. He just loses 100 life points or lower. For, I don't know if that's 1000 or lower. But, anyways, he's his effect is pretty cool because if ducks equip with him, and if you all know what happens from there, Phalanx special summons himself as a monster instead of being equipped. Instead of being an equip card, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, that it's actually pretty cool to actually have an equip monster. To have a monster that's to have someone that's an equip become a monster. So you basically can give him with Militum, give but especially with Ducks, a Legionnaire, make your five and six into eight. Pretty much right there. So, however, he just gets hit. With a lot of things, especially chain disappearances, you got nothing. So, my skip. I'm gonna say he is a he is a five, possibly a four point seventy five because of easy getting hit. He's an easy target, but that doesn't matter because once you get your aids and everything, you're cool. Next up is Ecclees. I think Ecclees is better than um Phalanx because he's. I mean, he's not the target everyone wants. Everyone wants Phalanx against against Ecclesi. However, Ecclesi has two sweet effects. Two. Not one, but two. When you normal summon him, you can special summon one Dragoonie monster, doesn't matter what type or what level, from your hand, and he gets equipped to it. So, you can get him with Mistletane and Levitane, but the, but the downside for Levitane and Mistletane when, when Ecclesi uses the effect is, this is 10 level team will miss their timing because the last thing that's being equipped to them is a cleese. So a cleese is gonna be is automatically their equip, whether they're special summoned, when they're special summoned. So at least makes mistletane and levitane miss timing. That's one bad thing. But it's cool because if it was if they didn't miss timing from that, get failings, you can make your eight or ten. That's that's a thing. I don't think that would be a great a great thing if that ever did happen. So I guess it's it kind of downs them a bit, so they won't be too broken. I mean, I think about it, it's like, wow, two equips in one. That's pretty much straight up, wow. 
And then if he's a sent to the graveyard while equipped, he can destroy a card. See, so that's your legionnaire plays. Your, and he can be MST. He can be heavy storm. He can malevolent catastrophe him. He will get his effect. That's what's really amazing about him. TCG wise, it's not good for him because if he dies with the monster equipped to him, they he won't get his effect. But in Japan, oh my God, in Japan, if he dies, no matter what circumstances, if a monster equipped with him dies and he dies along, at least gets his effect. However, I just realized from Phoenix X Flare's video from Barcha and Eccles, if Black Rose Dragon comes in and nukes the whole field, Eccles can get his effect with because the monster and him were being destroyed at the same time. Basically, Eccles can get his effect from Black Rose Dragon. That's pretty much awesome right there. So I didn't I didn't realize that until I watched that video, which is I have to say thanks Phoenix X Fair for clearing that up right now. So, anyways, from I'm gonna say this: Eccles has combos than Phalanx. Phalanx only combo is synchro. Eccles combo he can be a synchro material with Militum, but I don't play I don't play her. And then he can be destruction with Legionnaire. And plus that he can, if he get get heavy stormed, I will destroy a card from your from my opponent's side of the field. So from a scale of 1 through 5, I'm going to give him a 5. Next is Legionnaire. Legionnaire is is same as with Ecclesi. He has combos. With Phalanx, make a 5 with, to make Hyper Librarian, Cataster, Android, whichever cards, level 5s you play with him. That sounds all. That you play for, for him. Then you then you got um, Exceeds right now. He can be a good Exceeds, but I don't think it's going to be any use to, to use him as an Exceed because, I mean, it is a good use, but however, it's just, uh, is it worth, I don't think it might be worth it to make him as an Exceed material. So I think Synchro Materials is good for him right now. So, and he get he can be also a good com Synchro combo with Zephyr, my build, I have Zephyros in it. So I can make a Trish with him, Phalanx and Zephyros. Zephyros, excuse me. So from scale one through five, I would give him a five because he's actually no, actually a four point seventy five because he has his attack is low as twelve hundred for level three. However, he has great combos with with his with just level three destruction effects and single single combos. He's pretty he's pretty awesome. Next up, ducks, the superhero, the one of the hearts. Of the deck because of the fact he gains 200 attacks for every Dragoonie monster you control so he can become a 2100 beat stick with just legionnaire and phalanx alone because he gains 200 for himself also so that's pretty amazing I'm not gonna lie to you. he's pretty that's pretty amazing not only that he gets synchros with phalanx he becomes your level 6 and then becomes an eight for along with that, so that's already. And you have uh, what you call Dragon Ravine. I mean, not Dragon Ravine, man. Hyper Librarian. Two draws right there, with him to Phalanx to six, and Vajrayana, and then Vajrayana with Phalanx to eight. So I, I should have just said that with Phalanx, but that's okay because Ducks deserve some spotlight too. However, my gripe with him is Bottomless Trapo will just will get rid of him because of the fact. He's a 1500 attacker. So from that point, I'm just gonna say he's a 4.5 out of 5 because Bombus Trap Hole, which is the biggie right almost now, well ever since he can it came, um, can destroy this card like like it's like it's nothing. It's like it's a little bitch. When Bomb Trap Hole comes in, you're my bitch. That's pretty much it. So he is a 4.5 out of 5. He's a, he's a great card. He's a versatile card, but just bottomless trap hole. He's a good. He's a, pretty much a big target, same as Phalanx. That's failure. Stop his equipping. Bottomless trap hole. Make him never exist. It's all morning too. Now we got done with the tuners, dragons, and uh, wing beasts. Now it's time for the real dragons. Mistletane from the start. Um, I played two Mistletanes right now 
in my junior year because of the fact I'll get my eights quicker like that. So that's what's an, a one. Number two, you just tribute of Druini monster to special summon him. That's a great effect. So you don't have to be like, what, you already know him? No, it's a special summon. I can tribute it to special summon it. That's a great thing about it too. My gripe with this one is Dragon Ravine Search. He can't become, he can't go to your hand because he's level 6. He has to be level 4 or lower. If they made another field spell, which I highly doubt they do, but if they did to bring your level 6 or level 8 to your hand, then okay, but it's not going to happen. It will never happen. Dragon Ravine's already good for them. So, he's, he's just a random floater, basically. But that doesn't mean he can't do be, be good. If you draw to him and you have phalanx or whatever, you can make your 8 right there. So from a scale of 1 through 5, I'm going to give him a, a 4.2. Last but not least, Levitane. I used to play him on my pre-build in one of my local tournaments because I had a brand stock with him too. However, I don't play him anymore because of the fact it's uh his effect is... I kind of get... I'm kind of a little mad about his effect because I had to remove one of my Draguini monsters from the field to the graveyard to special summon from the hand or the graveyard. I mean, from the field to the, to banish it. Okay. Let me just come back. All right. Now, Levitin. I like this guy. I'm not going to lie. I really like him. It's just his effect is I had to remove a Draguini monster from that's that's equipped from the field and banish it. And he can be special summoned from the graveyard or the hand. Cool. I like that. That he can be special summoned from the hand or graveyard. So if you have a red MD with it, red MD, get Levitane. Levitane gets his effect. Equip him with red MD, lad, or whatever. And same as Monster Reborn, he can get his effect from that. So anytime he's going to get special summoned from the graveyard, I think him in the graveyard, he has more than he does in the hand. I mean, the hand is pretty limited, except Red MD and Remove. But in the graveyard, Monster Reborn, Red MD, his own effect, Lad, those cards are, are can really, and him in the graveyard is, is better than the ones in his hand. But his, it's just, and then after, if he's destroyed by a card effect like Mirror Force, or like Mirror Force, for example, I get to special summon the monster that was the dragon that's equipped to him. So I have Ecclese, I special summon, but that's not likely. But Red MD, I can do it all over again. So I can do the Red MD loop. So, so basically, Levitane has lots of plays. It's just his effect to special summon from Grave Your Hand, which it, by removing a Dragoon, it's just, I didn't like about. I didn't like about. Him. So from a scale of 1 through 5, I'm going to give him a 4.9 because of the fact. The one thing I didn't like is his effect to remove a Dragoonie monster from the field and banish it. That's the only thing I didn't like about him. Everything else when special summoning him and gets your dragon your dragons out is what I really love about him. So so now this is my whole meta talk about Dragoonies. And hopefully next format or the following format, Dragoonies can win a YC someone for, for the love of God, make a Dragoon win a YCS. Then that way they don't feel like they are left out for nothing. So, like, make a good comeback for these guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.